right, continuing with the Alex Jones Show. This is the second hour. We just finished up an interview with Greg Caton, an American citizen who was kidnapped at gunpoint in Ecuador by the rogue United States government that runs like a global mafia, running kidnapping and assassination squads everywhere in the world, including domestically in the United States. Uh, if you think uh, Michael Hastings' car just just blew up for no reason, you know, uh, you probably need to <laughs> rethink that. Uh, we've got a clip here that we want to go to from an interview with Julian Assange, who is all of a sudden back in the news, headlining a lot of news reports because of, of course, the Ed Snowden situation. Check out this interview, this segment. Let's go to the 8 minute and 40 second segment of this interview, guys. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, look, there, there is no stopping the publishing process at this stage. Um, great care has been taken to make sure uh, that Mr. Snowden uh, can't be pressured uh, by any state uh, to stop the uh, publication uh, process. Um, I mean, the, the United States, by cancelling his passport, has left him for the, uh, for the moment um, uh, marooned uh, in Russia. Is that really a, a great outcome? Uh, by the State Department. Is that really what it wanted to do? Um, I think that's every citizen uh, has the right to their citizenship, uh, to, to take someone's uh, principal component of citizenship, their passport, away from them uh, is a disgrace. Uh, Mr Snowden hasn't been convicted uh, of anything. There are no international uh, warrants out for his arrest. Um, to take a passport from a young man in a difficult situation like that is a disgrace. He, he is a hero. Uh, he is uh, told so there we, the people there we go. That's, of the world. That's the part I wanted to roll there. Uh, a couple of important points there. Number one, the State Department takes away Snowden's passport, marooning him, says Assange, in the Russian airport, and then the State Department accuses Russia of holding on to him. Well, it's the, it's the State Department that uh, took his passport away, making it impossible for him to travel. So once again, the, the government is causing the problem that it's accusing Snowden of or, or, or Russia of causing so and the other thing here is that Assange says that Snowden's information will get out that it cannot be stopped this is crucial because what you are witnessing here is a global war an info war at the highest levels between truth tellers citizens uh, global citizens who want to expose the darkest secrets of how government is actually run and we're going to have Wayne Madsen, by the way, coming up in, in uh, about 20 minutes to give us more details on that. Some of the some of the darkest secrets of how government is actually run. You know, it's it's they 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 say you should never ask a sausage maker how a sausage is made, otherwise you'll never eat it. Well, by the same token, you should never ask your government how it runs government, because if you knew, you'd be outraged. You'd be you'd be marching on the Capitol. So what people like Julian Assange and Edward Snowden are doing is simply bringing these facts to the surface to, to, to give the people the transparency that Obama promised to give people, but then betrayed people over by keeping and in fact expanding more secrets. So, so uh, Snowden wants to bring this out in the public and he has taken steps. This is what's important to understand. He has taken steps to make sure that additional information will be leaked if anything happens to him. I think he has what I might call uh, an info dead man switch in place. In fact, I'm 100% I'm certain this is the case, even though I don't have any inside info on it. But if I were Snow Snowden, I would do that. So if anything happens to him, if he winds up dead, gets blown up in a car like Hastings, or you know, suddenly dies from a heart attack like Breitbart the day before he was going to release some damning information on Obama. Well, then, guess what? The dead man switch is activated, and probably all kinds of damning information is going to get released. So right now, the U.S. government needs to be thinking very carefully about how they're going to treat Edward Snowden, because if they try to go after him and kill him, I think they are going to probably set in motion some things that could result in the downfall of the current criminal administration, which is, of course, what uh, what Assange would probably like to see and what, what Snowden would like to see. And I think many, many uh, freedom lovers everywhere would like to see. Let's go on to some other news, and then we'll come back to some clips in a minute. But check this out. 
the teen that was charged for wearing an NRA t-shirt has had the charges dismissed against him. A 14-year-old student named Jared Markham, the charges have been dismissed by a judge. He was facing one year in jail for wearing a shirt that said to protect your First Amendment. I mean, look at the irony of that. Arrested for saying protect our constitutional rights, arrested by a police officer who swore an oath to defend the Constitution, and then arrested the teen for wearing a t-shirt that says defend the Constitution. This is how crazy it has become. That story is up on Infowars.com by Paul Joseph Watson right now. The, uh, by the way, another important point about that story is that the judge imposed a gag order that would have prevented Markham from discussing anything about the case in, in public. Because, of course, you can't allow someone who's wearing a t-shirt that says protect the First Amendment to have the First Amendment right. <laughs> that would just be too much freedom in America. Too much freedom. You can't give people too much freedom. All right, here's another story that will blow your mind. Again, we, there's no way we can even cover all this today. Hospitals and cancer centers are now getting women drunk at mammogram parties, liquoring them up so that they can then get mammograms that give them a false diagnosis of cancer. This is being called a form of medical date rape. Yeah, medical date rape. And I wouldn't be surprised if lots of women come out and defend this practice. Yeah, we have the right to get drunk and then get irradiated with mammograms and then get dosed up with chemotherapy and have our breasts removed surgically with double mastectomies. That's all right. I wouldn't be surprised to find some some women out there doing that. Oh, that's It's just, just another medical abuse and exploitation of women. Where, where does it end, folks? Where does it end? And those of us who try to speak up for women and try to speak up for, for civil rights and for human rights and for freedoms were always labeled sexist and racist oh we're so terrible for mentioning that everybody's rights should be equally protected all right major change coming to the security lines at denver international airport they've got dogs sniffing you now tsa dogs <laughs> we we could we could uh, offer some inappropriate jokes on this but i'll skip it but the dogs uh, are apparently uh, easy to train to uh, sniff you in the same areas that the TSA is normally touching. So, so wow, very useful to uh, sniff you. And, of course, they managed to find some passengers that were raving about, oh, we love the dogs sniffing us as, as if we're criminals carrying drugs all the time. All right, Colorado's gun control laws go into effect Monday. That's uh, that's today. <laughs> yeah, that is either today or next week. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. But so you're not going to be able to uh, buy guns without going through a universal background check, which means you can't even sell a gun to your own son or family member or father or uncle. And the ban on high capacity magazines, anything that holds more than 15 rounds. So in Colorado now, if you have to do battle with a gang of meth heads that's coming to raid your ranch, your rifle can only have 15 rounds in it while the meth heads can have 30 or 100 even. So this, this bill is going to put law-abiding citizens at a tactical disadvantage against criminal gangs, which is, of course, the whole point of gun control, to turn everybody into a victim. And that story, by the way, is out of the Denver post. All right, a story from uh, Ron Paul. If you like the surveillance state, you'll love E-Verify. Part of the government's new mandate for employers is uh, E-Verify that requires Americans to carry a, quote, tamper-proof social security card in order to get a job. So you got to show the card to your employer, and then the employer has to verify the eligibility by running it through a federal database, which means the federal government will then have a log, a, a record of every person, where they were on what day applying for which job. How's that? Isn't that wonderful? Just more police state antics from the Obama administration. 
Now, the UK government has banned GMOs from Parliament, but forces them on the public. Isn't this interesting? You know how uh, Monsanto banned GMOs from its own cafeteria? And you know the global elite, they don't eat GMOs, they eat all organics. They eat, uh, they drink raw milk, not pasteurized processed milk, but of course, they always say that the public should eat the things that they won't, because, you know, the poisons have got to go somewhere. How, where, how would they get rid of them if they didn't have people eat them all the time? So GMOs banned from Parliament, but uh, still good enough for the common people. But hey, at least Europe is you know banning more GMOs than the United States. I think GMOs are required to be labeled in something like 56 countries around the world, something like that. But not in America, no. Moving on, next story. The NSA can obtain 1 billion cell phone calls a day and store them and listen to them. This is more information coming out of The Guardian and Glenn Greenwald, the journalist that has been covering the Ed Snowden uh, situation. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Welcome back. This is the Alex Jones Show. I want to remind you to help support this broadcast. Check out the Pro Pure water filters, 10% off right now. These are the only water filters that have an integrated fluoride filter. And it removes most of the fluoride, not all of it. It's very difficult to get that out, but most of it, uh, greatly reducing your exposure to it. You can check that out at InfoWarsStore.com. Also, this video, State of Mind, The Psychology of Control, is coming out. This looks amazing. In fact, I'm going to steal this copy probably <laughs> and take it with me because I've been, I've been hearing the interviews here on Alex Jones by the creators of this film, and they are smart guys, brilliant, actually, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this film. It's got all kinds of great people in it, John Rappaport, uh, Ed Griffin, and many others. Alex Jones is in the film as well. State of Mind, check that out. It's on sale uh, right now, but shipping, I think, later. Uh, it's available for sale now, but shipping in a few days, some, something like that. Is that right, guys? Shipping later? Well, anyway... Check it out on, on InfoWarsStore.com. We've also got the Survival Seed Center there at InfoWars Store and InfoWarsHealth.com where you can check out the many health products that are recommended by people like Ben Fuchs, who I really love his information. The guy is absolutely brilliant. You've got Enerfood, Superfood Products, the Survival Seed Vault, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, many other products there. Check it out at InfoWarsHealth.com. Your support helps support this show and makes this possible because remember... The alternative media is now the new mainstream media. So Infowars, Natural News, Drudge Report, people like Gerald Salenti and others, we are really the new journalism because we're the ones who are out there telling the truth and not just parroting you know, White House lies and deceptions. And I know there are, there are others out there that are trying to be kind of alternative media like RT, but then RT went off and attacked the Second Amendment, totally discrediting themselves in that process, saying that we should turn in our guns and things like that. So uh, I'm not even I'm not I'm not ever going on there again because I I'm not I'm not going to support a, a foreign funded media that's trying to take away our constitutional rights. So um, I'm just not going to participate in that. I'm going to support people like Alex Jones and Infowars who are about liberty and who don't have some big corporate boss telling them what to do. That's the thing you got to realize that. See, Alex Jones has no boss. He can't be fired. You are his boss. You, the listeners, you are his boss. I'm in the same boat. I have no boss. I can't be fired. That's why I can write stories about Rachel Jantel. I can be uh, critical of things that are not politically correct. I refuse to be censored by political correctness. I can have an intelligent discussion about topics that will get me called a racist for mentioning that maybe we should stop attacking, you know, white people for everything in the media. You know, I'm gonna get called a racist for that. I don't care because we're winning at so many levels. We are gaining the audience. We're growing in influence. We are the ones who are telling the truth and thank you for your support. We're here to serve you. That's why we do this. Alex and I have had these conversations. If, if, if everything was okay in the world, we would both probably be at our farms on a John Deere tractor, you know, farming. 
<laughs> we wouldn't even be doing this. We do this because we have to serve humanity. We have to shine the light on basic freedoms, fundamental, the philosophy of, of liberty. This, this is worth fighting for. That's why we're here fighting for this. So thank you for your support. We're going to keep doing this for as long as we, as we can, we, you, know, you know, and help pass the torch on to the next generation of people who can take over this job and, and continue it because this is a never ending fight for liberty and freedom. And uh, don't be fooled by fake alternative media that are actually funded by foreign governments, okay? Now, let's move on to some other news. HIV vaccine experiment infects 41 volunteers. So get this, the NIH certified study included 2,500 men who were having sex with other men according to the release, or having sex with transgender individuals. They were assigned to receive the experimental vaccine HVTN505. Sounds like someone's license plate. And the other half were given a placebo. Well, it turns out that 41 of the men who were given the vaccine actually were given HIV. <laughs> wow. So once again, more proof that the vaccines give you the diseases that they claim to be stopping. And it reminds me of last year, the Merck scientist came out in a whistleblower lawsuit against Merck that said Merck knew its measles vaccines were causing measles, that its vaccines were not effective at blocking the, the diseases that it claimed to block. And so that lawsuit, I don't know where it's gone since then, but that was filed last year. Vaccines are a vector to infect you with the disease that they claim to be blocking, okay? If you get vaccines, you're poisoning yourself. That's all there is to it. The proof is out there. We'll be right back. This is the Alex Jones Show. Wayne Madsen, straight ahead. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. Pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Infowar.